please stand for the singing of Great is Thy Faithfulness, and please stay standing for the prayer after. Would you pray with me? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering today. We thank you for the opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of these, our graduates. For family, for friends, for those who've cheered on, for those who've encouraged, who've strengthened, who've supported, we thank you for those family, friends. We thank you for faculty and for staff. And Holy Spirit, we pray in the next few moments that you would begin to move throughout this room and confirm and seal in our hearts the reality that the very breath we breathe comes from you. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Amen. You may be seated.
couple of reminders. Uh, we are taking photos throughout the day, so if you would remain in your seats, we'd appreciate that. We'll have lots of opportunities to take photos afterwards. Um, and graduates, you are the final class graduating in 2022. Let's applaud that. We are, we are excited for you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about your graduating class in just a moment, but I do want to just say this. Uh, if you are in California and are nervous, what is happening outside is called rain. <laughs> if you are out of state, you've heard the song and believe it never rains in California, which is mostly true, but uh, we have this rain. We've been praying specifically that the Lord would allow people to get here safely, that it would dump while we're all in here, and then it would stop raining again so everybody can go and do their thing uh, in relative safety. We're grateful for the rain, but uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for being part of this. Class, I have some facts about you that you may not know about yourself. Here's the facts. Of this graduating class uh, here today, the undergraduate class of 2022 in the winter, 65% are female and 35% are male. Two-thirds female. Men in the audience, a couple comments. Uh, number one, this is rich target territory if you want to attend William Jessup University. And number two, get your act together, dudes. Come on. All right. Number two, the, the youngest graduate is age 20. That's good. Oldest, oldest undergraduate graduate is 54. You come from six states and five countries. You speak nine languages. I will tell you, by the way, I didn't see this in the undergraduate list, but uh, graduates speak 14 languages, one of which was Klingon. And I just was excited about that. OK, a couple other things. 80% uh, of you attend church regularly. Way to go. Way to go. Love that. Over 40% of you are involved in ministry while you were attending Jessup. Uh, and then this is the amazing stat I like to focus on every year. 86% of you, 86% of you are employed or already accepted to graduate school on the day of your graduation. That's awesome. I want to say a quick word to you. Philippians 1.6 says this, I'm convinced of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion on the day of Jesus Christ. And scripture tells us that this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. In it. This is the day of the Lord. You are completers, you're finishers. You have made it through. Yay, way to go. Uh, I do wanna say this, if you have any out outstanding assignments, please get them done quickly. <laughs> I do also wanna say the diploma you get today will be a fake diploma. Until you pay us every last red cent you owe us. Hey, just getting you ready for the real world, okay? <laughs> I do want to say that you are deeply loved and cared for, and I want to give you the opportunity because dads and moms, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, friends, uh, brothers, sisters, etc., have been helpful to you. Would you just for a moment honor the people around you who've supported you up to this point? We've got a special treat in store today. Our speaker today is Supervisor Bonnie Gore. She was elected to the Placer County Board of Supervisors in June of 2018. She assumed office in January of 2019. Prior to serving on the County Board of Supervisors, she served on the Roseville City Council from 2012 to 2018, including her time as Vice Mayor and Mayor. Now, she has an entire paragraph in her bio about agencies and committees and that sort of thing she serves on. All of that is surpassed, in my humble opinion, by the fact that Bonnie Gore is the chairman of the board of William Jessup University's Board of Trustees. Which, by the way, makes her bo my boss, so please treat her well, okay? Uh, Bonnie is an active member of the Roseville Chamber of Commerce, uh, and in 2019, she founded Female Leadership and Mentor Exchange, or FLAME as an acronym. It seeks to advance and empower the next generation female leaders by creating and encouraging mentor relationships. Uh, Bonnie earned her bachelor's degree in business management from Santa Clara University. She and her husband, Rob, have one son, Jacob, who recently served in the United States Army, and two daughters of their hearts, Carmel and Naomi. 
I know Bonnie as a woman of prayer, a woman of strength, a woman of boldness, and I'm excited that she's your speaker today. Would you please welcome Bonnie to the podium? I love musicals. A few weeks ago, my husband and I had the opportunity to see The Wizard of Oz right here on this stage. It was a wonderful show, wasn't it? As I think about the journey Dorothy and her friends took along the yellow brick road, I see similarities to their experiences and yours. Several years ago, you all started on a journey to achieve a goal. You met new friends, learned about yourselves, and I hope had some fun along the way. I'm sure there were some challenges and roadblocks. Maybe not flying monkeys or wicked witches, or maybe in your ca case there were flying monkeys and wicked witches, because many of you performed in the show. But you've arrived at the end of your journey, and like the scarecrow, you are receiving your diploma. Congratulations. As you prepare for the next chapter of your lives, I'd like to talk about the cowardly lion. As Dorothy tells the lion why she is going to see the wizard, he declares, then, if you don't mind, I'll go with you, for my life is simply unbearable with about, without a bit of courage. Courage. Courage is a strong, powerful word. When we think of courage, we think heroes, people who perform brave acts, police officers, firefighters, soldiers. Many of us wouldn't describe ourselves as courageous. Up until about 10 years ago, I never would have described myself as courageous. Courage is defined as the ability to do something difficult, painful, or dangerous that is frightening. Courage is not about being a hero. It's the ability to do something hard that's scary. Vincent van Gogh asked, what would life be like if we had no courage to attempt anything? That question resonates with me. What would my life look like if I hadn't had the courage to try something difficult? Thirteen years ago, my life took a detour I did not expect. My husband and I were expecting the birth of our son after years of trying to get pregnant. Tragically, one night I went into early labor and our son couldn't be saved. After a year plus of grief, medical issues, and lots of tears and prayer, we let go of our dream of having children. And I asked God, if not children, then what? What did he have for me? What was I called to do that would give my life a purpose? I asked the questions all good guidance counselors ask, which many of you are probably asking as you get ready for this next chapter in your lives. What do I enjoy? What do I get excited about? How do I want to spend my time? Several times I was encouraged to run for the city council. No thank you, I am not interested, I'm not qualified, and I had helped candidates run for office, and I had no desire to do that myself. As I thought about the guidance counselor questions, I realized what I was passionate about. I loved my city, and I got excited about local government. I know I may be a little weird. But oh, I was hesitant. I had several people encourage me to run, but I really struggled with making a decision to move forward. Fortunately, I had a longtime friend ask me a defining question. Bonnie, what are you afraid of? Me? Afraid? I'm not afraid. But as I thought about her question, I realized I was afraid afraid of all the hard work. I was afraid I couldn't do it. Afraid that I wasn't up to it, 
or capable enough. And then my friend said, Bonnie, you've worked so hard at a lot of things. Don't let the fear of hard work keep you from doing something you'd be good at. I had to summon up my courage to do something that frightened me. And with hard work, I accomplished it. Do you have a dream for your life that seems impossible? Or perhaps no concrete dream, but you know you want your life to make a difference? Does the path to get there, taking steps into the unknown, feel overwhelming and a little scary? I never thought of myself as courageous. I did not like change. I was not much of a risk taker. I liked consistency, calm, and playing it safe. I realized that every opportunity in life can be a small act of courage. Trying something new and, and different and scary takes courage. Each scary choice helps shape and define our lives. Life takes courage. Courage to try something new. Courage to push or challenge ourselves. Courage to believe in ourselves. Courage to believe the potential in ourselves that others see in us. I would not have the life I have now without courage. One little act of courage building on the next. It took courage for me to quit a good paying job, say goodbye to my friends, and move across the United States to help my uncle run for the United States Senate. It took courage for me to move to different cities in California for new job opportunities. Courage to say, yes, I will run for office. Courage to say yes to giving a commencement speech. <laughs> Courage has brought me to where I am today, one brave decision at a time. The road to get here has not been direct. Our journeys aren't straight lines, all laid out to follow step by step. There are twists and turns and setbacks and detours. Along the journey, we learn, grow, change, experiment, redirect. We keep trying. As you move forward to realize that big dream or get to where you might make a bigger impact in the world, the reality is you can make an impact today. As you take courageous steps moving into the future, don't forget the present. Every day, I want you to ask, what good can I do today? Who can I help or encourage or bless? How can I make a difference in someone else's life? Those small acts take courage too. Each courageous step will give you confidence to take the next one. And the best part is, you aren't alone on this journey. God has promised, be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, whatever steps you take, you aren't alone. You don't need to fear. You can be courageous. As Dorothy said to the lion, after he had, as the wizard said to the lion, after he had helped save Dorothy, you have plenty of courage, I am sure. All you need is confidence in yourself. There is no living thing that is not afraid when it faces danger. Yes, you might be afraid, but have confidence in yourself. You aren't alone. Your courage can impact the lives of others. Your courage can make a difference in the world. Be courageous. Thank you so much, Bonnie. We appreciate uh, wisdom, discernment, insight about the nature of courage.
and how you've demonstrated it in your life. We come to the point in our celebration where we have some special awards. I'm going to read each award, and as I do, if you happen to be a recipient of the award, would you then come join me on the stage? We have a plaque for you and a monetary gift. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's amazing how many dads and moms out there thought, tuition rebate, that's awesome. <laughs> that's between you and your folks to work out. Okay, number one, Addison Carlson Award. Chosen by the Bay Area School of Professional Studies faculty and staff, this award recognizes the outstanding student for a demonstrated commitment to community service, ministry, care for the poor, and lifelong learning. The recipient of this year's Addison Carlson Memorial Award is Daisy Marison Herrera. Our next award is entitled the Outstanding ADC Student Award. Chosen by the Rockland Adult Degree Completion faculty and staff, this award recognizes the student who exhibits commitment to his or her fellow students, excellence in scholarship, exemplary Christian character, and demonstrated leadership. The recipient of this year's Outstanding ADC Student Award is Ezra Michael Heeshan. Our next award is the Katie Butterworth Award. This award is sponsored by the Butterworth family and selected by the faculty to recognize that woman who best evidences through her life and ministry those qualities of a worthy woman described in Proverbs 31. This year's recipient of the Katie Butterworth Award is Rachel Weaver. <laughs> Our next award is entitled the Founders Award. This award, selected by the faculty, honors that male graduate who best exemplifies the spirit and character of our founding president, William L. Jessup. This year's recipient of the Founders Award is Hector Hernandez. <laughs> So, are, so hard to get energy in this crowd. Okay. <laughs> Our final award is entitled the Faculty Award. This honor given by the faculty and by their selection is Jessup's highest recognition award for scholarship, service to the university, ministry to the church, and personal Christian character. This year's recipient of the Faculty Award is Brianna Marie Anderson. <laughs> Congratulations to all the award recipients. In a moment, I'm going to invite the graduates to stand. In a moment, don't stand just yet. 
But before I do that, I just want to take a moment to recognize the significant accomplishment that you all have achieved, which is represented by your presence here today. Graduating at any time is an outstanding accomplishment, but I would say graduating, like Dr. Jackson said, at the end of fall 22 is something that you should take a moment and appreciate that it's a very significant achievement. As you reflect, I think you'll draw the conclusion that as amazing as this achievement was, you did not get to this place on your own. God has a plan for each of your lives, and this day is a milestone. It's a marker of his good, pleasing, and perfect will. However, God does work through others, those that he places in our lives during our journey. And for you, part of the folks that have been able to make this possible for you have been your friends in the registrar's office, your success coaches, and others here on campus who have worked alongside you. A very important part of that group are the faculty who happen to be sitting behind me right now, and I'd love to give you an opportunity to express your appreciation for your faculty. Thank you. Finally, I just want to take a moment to describe what's going to happen as you walk across the stage. We have a tradition here at Jessup of recognizing the value of the head, heart, and hands for our graduates. The head, of course, is represented by the degree, the cover for which you'll receive when you walk across the stage. The heart represents the faith that we trust that you have nurtured and grown during your time here at Jessup. And then finally, the hands, the application of what you've learned, will be represented by a servant's towel that you'll receive from President Jackson as you make your way across the stage. At Jessup, we believe that an exceptional education should go hand in hand with your faith. And we trust that as graduates, equipped now with a towel and diploma in hand, that you will be equipped and known to lead in your chosen field, specifically as God has called you. At this time, I want to ask the graduates to please stand. Board of Trustees, Chair Gore, President Jackson, on behalf of the faculty, I commend to you these students as worthy graduates of Jessup University, having fulfilled the requirements for their academic certificates and bachelor degrees programs. On behalf of the State of California, the Board of Trustees, the administration and faculty of William Jessup University, it is my honor as president to confer upon you certificates, the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science, and to declare you graduates of William Jessup University with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Graduates, prepare to commence. <laughs>
we will begin by recognizing our graduates who will be attending virtually. Please hold your applause until we have completed this group. George Paul Beasley, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magnum Cum Laude. Ashley Bushnell, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Joshua Carmhan, Certificate in Biblical Studies with Distinction. Amy Dowley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Zion Doe, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Amanda Elkwall, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Callie Gilmore, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Communication and Design. Z Han, Bachelor of Science, Business, Magnum Cum Laude. Marie Henshaw, Bachelor of Science, Business. Adia Hull, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Bradley Jones, Bachelor of Science, Business. Jing Li, Bachelor of Science, Business. Aaron Alejandro Lopez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Patrick Javier Marquina, Bachelor of Arts, Aviation, Cum Laude. Margaret Elizabeth Room, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Cleo O'Farrell, Bachelor of Arts, English. Benjamin Olina, Bachelor of Arts, Science. Business, Cum Laude. Kaylee Grace Phillips, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Jezhai Zhu, Bachelor of Science, Business. Cheyenne Jankulvaski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. And Richard John Janis, Bachelor of Science, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Congratulations to our virtual attendees. We now welcome the in-person attendees to the stage. Haley Taylor, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Oh, over here, card, card. Anthony Jared Foster Golden, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Sukraj Singh, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Nicholas Heath Clopton, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Nicholas Alexander Ballard, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Jessica Marie Dethinger, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Communication and Design, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew D. Klingsman. Bachelor of Arts, Leadership, Magnum Cum Laude. <laughs> Reshmika Klingsman, Bachelor of Science, Business, Magnum Cum Laude. <laughs> Elena Volkop, Bachelor of Science, Business with Distinction. Marcus Tover, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah. 
Joseph Lueveno, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Arnell Berry, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Gabrielle Freebus, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Christina Williams, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Abhishek Chang, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Calvin R. Owens, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Jason Braver, Bachelor of Science, Business. Jamie Velasquez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Angelica M. Fernandez, Bachelor of Science, Business. Carla McComas, Bachelor of Science, Business. Philip Gregory Fritz II, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership. Brianna Marie Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Summa Cum Laude. Jocelyn Cardenas, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Elihu Gradison Hopper, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Bianca Jeanette Christensen, Bachelor of Arts, Theaters, Summa Cum Laude. Jacob Greer, Bachelor of Arts, Theaters, Cum Laude. Melanie Elizabeth Welch, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, Project Management Certificate, Summa Cum Laude, with distinction. <laughs> Maria Vasakova, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Casey R. Garfinkel, Garfinkel, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Annalie Grace Bywater, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magnum Cum Laude. <laughs> Clara Roberts. Bachelor of Science, Biology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Susan Ranelli, Bachelor of Arts, History. <laughs> Althea Joy D'Souza, D'Souza, Bachelor of Arts, Mass Music, Cum Laude. Sarah Rossiter, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Sorry. 
Hannah Hawley, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren Michelle Ivaldi, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Macy Tao, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, with Distinction. <laughs> Janae Antoinette James, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership. <laughs> Clarissa Holgren, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Jessa Cahan Salas, Bachelor of Arts, English. <laughs> Daisy Marisol Herrera, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> Stacy M. Old, Bachelor of Science, Business. Luciano Linares, Jr., Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Thank you. Lacey Ceremony, Bachelor of Science, Canal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, kinesiology. <laughs> Alexis Taylor Jones, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Summa Cum Laude. Nunnick. Ellie Jean Nunnick, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology with Distinction. <laughs> Jacob Emmanuel Custodio, Bachelor of Science, Business. Karma Danicki, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Sophia Solorzano, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Melanie Soria, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily Chase Hambly, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Heather Galmish, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magnum Cum Laude. Sarah Virginia Fadling, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology with Distinction. Mark William Hale, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Gary Mathis, Bachelor of Science, Business. Richard Ernest Grimmett, Bachelor of Science, Business. Diana Navarrete, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Ezra Michael Heshkin, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Rachel Weaver, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Summa cum laude. <laughs> Hector Hernandez, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership. <laughs> J. 
Jillian Han, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, magna cum laude. Melisa A. Centillo, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Jessenia Rublakaba, Bachelor of Arts, Music. <laughs> Angela Elaine Billings, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Magna Cum Laude. Let's give all of our graduates a round of applause. Join me as we pray for these young men and women, ready to go out and do whatever God has planned for them in the future. Almighty God in heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for the realization there is no higher calling or more noble pursuit for any human being than loving you, serving you, and representing you in this world. May the graduates of William Jessup University we honor today do exactly that, in the lifetime that is before them to love you, to serve you, and to represent you well. May each of them be exceptionally employable in their chosen professions, but even more important than their occupation, may they be exceptionally faithful in their vocation to be what you have declared your people to be, the light of the world. May each of them follow your example, dearest Jesus, to live their lives not to be served, but to serve, to spend and be spent for the well-being of others, to speak the truth in love, to be the embodiment of both truth and grace. May each of them be thoroughly convinced that they are your workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for the good works you have prepared for them to do before they were even born. And may they each never forget that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see and that without faith it is impossible to please God. And finally, we ask that the Christ-centered education they have received will be the catalyst for the Christ-centered lives they will live. On their behalf, we pray this benediction to him who was able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, honor, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Professor. Family and friends, we want to ask that you would join us for a small celebration immediately following as we celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates. But one thing remains. Graduates, congratulations. You may now turn your tassels. <laughs> 